just about all the food stores over here and so we're finally you know catching our bearings and finding our go-to stores for certain items one of the items that we went for was candy we got a little uh we got a little pumpkin bucket for the kids just in case they're trick-or-treating at the apartment today hopefully they are because we already got the bucket so we're just on the hunt for candy and I think today was probably not the smartest day to shop for candy. Aldi was completely sold out. So we're going to check the dollar store to see if they have anything. Okay, y'all, we at the dollar store. Let's see what we can find. Healthy fruit snacks. Uh, blow pops. Remember these hamburger things? Yep. Krabby Patties. <laughs> so we got the unicorn gummies, some candy sticks, whatever they are. <laughs> um, Reese's, some pies. Left behind or within it. If you're sinking or swimming, existing or living. Nothing I that they could do. Nothing that they could say. Hey girl, hey. So today is a new day. It is November 1st and you guys would have seen me just bring this bucket inside and guess what? It's still full. It's still full. <laughs> Tell me why is it still full, y'all? So nobody wanted our candies, you know? The time we took to go to the dollar store yesterday to get these candies and to get these things and nobody wanted them. <laughs> so I went to work last night and I had told hubby to put the bucket outside. Um, and so he said that he believed it was a little bit fuller than this. I don't even care about the bucket. It was only a dollar. So I don't mind throwing this away, but it's, it's the items inside of it that I don't really want to just waste and throw out. But anyway, I hope I'm not out here in these YouTube streets looking crazy because I did just use a new product on my face, beauty product on my face, and I'm probably going to do a little YouTube shorts on that product um, just to give it a little review. But I don't even know if I see a difference. It is supposed to give skin, but it's supposed to give like glowy, you know, and bronzed or whatever. But anywho, so... I got off this morning and I slept, got up, you know, did some things around the apartment. And now I think I just want to sit down and have maybe a glass of wine. 
it's very cold outside don't get me wrong but the inside of the apartment is actually warm oh this hair y'all i just got this um i just got this calendar hair from amazon you all know i'm a i'm the amazon queen <laughs> if nobody else is i am and so anyway i just got this from amazon and i just feel like it helps us to you know like sort of stay on schedule stay focused or whatever like on our goals for the week like here <laughs> it says to study that's not for me and then here it says smoothie one meal snack gym okay Okay, y'all, so we have our wine. I hope you have yours too. Cheers. This portion of the video is going to be just a little nurse chat. So whether you are a nurse or not, hear me out, y'all. This is patient entitlement, okay? I don't know if it's just here in the US, and I just want to say that I'm so appreciative to be here working as a nurse, but there's just some things that has to be discussed. And like I said, one of those things are patient entitlement, okay? So I just need someone to tell me why are these patients so damn entitled, okay? Why? So I'm going to give like one or two examples of what I mean. But before I do that, I know in just about every establishment, you know, they usually say that, okay, the customer is right. In this case, the patient is like the customer or the client but I don't know if I agree with that statement, okay? Customers are not always right. The patients are not always right. There are times when patients come in, they're frustrated, they're angry, they're sick, and they just simply take their frustration out on the healthcare staff. Sometimes it seems like they're even mad at the whole world, okay? When nobody did them anything. <clears throat> Let me give y'all just the examples now, just so you guys can get a little bit more of what I'm trying to say, okay? So there was this homeless patient, not discriminating against him because he's homeless or anything like that, but just to bring some, you know, detail to the story, okay? I don't think he's there anymore, but he was just so rude, so nasty to, I wanna say everyone, but I can only speak for myself, okay? So every time I would go into the room, like he would, he would be calm, right? But it's like the minute that you say something to him or tell him, you know, hey, this is your medication. I don't want it. What is that for? I don't take no effing da 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 And he'll just curse and just start shouting for nothing. So I, it had me taken back because I'm like, sir, I'm not shouting at you. I'm not cursing at you. Please, you know, don't do it to me, you know? So... I guess that pissed him off even more. So he was like, like, you work for me. Like, I don't even care what you say, like you work for me. So I'm like, sir, I don't work for you. I said, I work for this company, but I don't work for you because you don't pay me, okay? I don't work for you. So it's either you want the medication or you don't, but there's no need to carry on the way that you're doing so right now, okay? No need. Just, like I said, just curse and shout and just be angry for no reason and like i said it wasn't only me it was other persons that had this issue too and when i reported it to the supervisor she was like darling you know she was like welcome to america so i'm like welcome to america what do you mean and that part caught me off guard just as well because i'm like welcome to america so because i'm in america now i should just allow anything or encourage patients to act that way toward persons that are trying to help them? I don't think so. I just felt some kind of way when she said that because I thought that she was going to do a little bit more, but apparently they had already put out, I think a complaint, you know, sent a complaint to management or whatever on his behavior, had him probably sign some kind of behavioral agreement or something like that which did not make a difference when i went to work the, the following night i had the same patient and i'm like if he's if he's that way at least 
lighten the load or make it even, you know, even the load by giving somebody else, this particular patient, you know, the second night that we come back to work. So usually I would like to keep all my patients, but patients, behavioral patients, or just, you know, certain patients like that, I feel like, you know, spread it around, you know, spread it around so that everyone can be welcomed to America. <laughs> but anyway, I realized later on that she really didn't mean anything by it. I guess it's just the way the system is and he's a patient so we have to continue to do our jobs and just be as nice and professional as we can to him and to all the patients like that, which I did, okay? And yes, you're paying your money or Medicaid is paying your hospital bill. You know, somehow the hospital is being paid. So yes, you're paying for a service, but you know, we are all human and to be nasty to someone who's genuinely trying to help you, like, yes, it's my job, but I'm actually trying to help you, trying to encourage you and educate you on why you need to take these medications or why you need to do certain things and you feel the need to curse and row or argue because I don't know if you guys, I don't know if some of you guys would know what row means. So that's just something that we say in the Bahamas. But yeah, to curse and argue and just carry on just rude for no reason. No. So that sense of patient entitlement is what I'm talking about. And that's just one situation that I had so far. So if you are a nurse and you have similar stories, then let me know down in the comment box, okay? Or if you just wanna leave a encouraging word or something like that, so you can also go ahead and do so. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely don't leave without subscribing. We're on the road to 100K, y'all. Listen to me. 100k <laughs> so on so on so on we ain't there yet we're on the road to 1k okay hopefully by the end of december we'll be there but yeah thank you guys for watching i think i have some new subscribers so if you are new and you stayed to this point this part of the video i just want to say welcome and thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my upcoming videos and definitely you know go back and watch the old ones that's fine too okay i think you're gonna love it here so i'm gonna talk to you guys later